Yudla residents have described the shooting of a deer as a senseless killing. The landowner was legally allowed to exterminate the animal on his property. But his neighbours say that doesn't make it right. He was no ordinary deer. He had a name and a fan club. John Deere. <laughs> we look forward to coming in the morning and wondering if he was there. You know, we'd make sure we brought, brought the camera so we could take photos of him. For years, the solo stag delighted Yudlo residents. He used to mingle with the cows or with our horses and um, maybe he felt lonely because he didn't have another deer here. Just amazing, just... Um puts a smile on your face to see, to see such a beautiful animal. But John Deere met an ugly end. A professional was hired by a local landowner. The shooter spotted posing with his kill. That's where he was executed. He was sunning himself. He was a sitting duck. That was on Tuesday. The deer was finally buried this morning. His antlers had been removed. It's all perfectly legal. Even so... It appears that the deer wasn't bothering anyone, so why somebody decided just to shoot it uh, seems to beg a belief. The property owner told Seven Local News via a text message he'd hired the shooter after hundreds of attempts to chase away the deer had failed. I've had damage to fencing, trees scalped and ripped to pieces and valuable pregnant livestock constantly harassed by the disease-carrying pest, he wrote. Council was aware of the stag but hadn't received complaints. We were not concerned because it was a loan, but I think one lone deer probably wasn't doing a lot of harm. Nothing will bring John Deere back, but neighbours still want the authorities to do something to prevent this kind of killing from happening again. It's just senseless slaughter of this majestic creature. Jessica Ross, 7 News.